Hello, and welcome to Phil Brown's Computer Networking Lab. You're watching the instructional video called AAA Accounting with a Taxes Plus Server. We are currently looking at the hyperterminal window. Let's take a look at the running configuration. We can see that there are commands for authentication, authorization, and accounting. These method lists will help us control our Cisco device. Notice that the accounting method list is pointing to the taxes plus server using the start stop feature. I've already set up the taxes server for 10.0.0.11 and I connected the accounting commands to the VIDI line. Now we're currently back on the ACS server. Let's open up the Cisco Secure ACS. When we take a look at all the users on its internal database, we can see that a number of them have been put in different groups. Let's take a look at the group listing. I have the network admins, technical support, and help desk for our users. Let's take a quick look at the network admins. We can see that the exec shell has been chosen and the privilege level is 15. The other groups have similar configurations. Now let's open up a telnet session and log in as Alice and see if the Cisco Secure ACS provides some level of accounting. I'll just run through a few commands and next I'll log in as Cindy and run a few commands and then I'll log in as Dan and run a command. Now let me click on the reports and take a look at the Taxes Plus accounting file. Here we can see that the Taxes Plus server has recorded Dan, Cindy, and Alice logging in. We can even see the network device that they logged into and the IP address of the device they connected with. Taxes Plus Accounting give network administrators the ability to hold privileged users responsible for the commands that they type in. I hope this video has been informative and I thank you for viewing.